Uh, took away from what he could do offensively. Well, Jeremy Lin, a lot of people in the building here tonight to watch the second year sensation. Takes it inside, Lin off balance, jumper good. To get his hands on things. Paul George has already matched his point total from last night. Stoudemire's jump shot good. Nearly rebounded by West. Great move by George. Here's Lynn to Anthony who lays it in in the Knicks. Behind at Bankers Life Fieldhouse in downtown Indianapolis and wide open it's Chandler. Long and Lynn has the rebound. It's tough to have to come in. The first shot you take is a three corner. But that doesn't bother. The, that doesn't bother J.R. Smith. He doesn't mind doing that. Will play, we think, on Tuesday night as Smith misses. Rebound tipped out by Granger. Now Jeremy Lynn inside banks it in. Oh, he then he took, took a tough shot because he went right at Roy Hibbert, who's got two fouls. And the reason he's able to get that one. 51. Lynn comes off that screen. Chandler goes to the basket. Now Lynn again. Well, oh, he's getting a round of applause here. There are obviously a lot of Lynn fans here at the game. Orlando. Well, he has great body control. He really does, and Collison has got to get him under control because he hadn't had to do a whole lot of playing. Oh, now nobody gets back. And Schumpert has his first field goal. Team foul against Indiana. They get a reset of the shot clock at 14. Win. Well, he's a tough-minded little guy because I tell you what, I saw that Mike Woodson got at it because he didn't go off the screen that was set by. Played well tonight. But he's been turnover prone. And now Lynn again buries his head into the lane and scores again. I'm telling you, he's, a, he's tough as, as all get out. And Collison is having a tough time guarding him. They wanted that screen and roll to get the ball to Anthony. 18 points for Paul George. Hibbert has 22. He leads the way. Oh. They call George Hill. And just call a technical on him, too. Straight and six of seven. You see right here now he just trips. I mean he really did. He, he just kind of trips. And, they, and that's because George Hill did a really good job locking up Camelo Anthony, so he had nowhere to go. Paul George is three, no good, and a loose ball foul. It's on Granger. Yeah, on Lynn. He was blocking Granger out. That's it. Again, I tell you, for me, those are tough shots to take. That transition three, where a lot of people like them. If you don't have, I mean, I don't think it's a good shot to take anyway. If you don't have a good shot, bring it back out. Next year, 110-109 on an Anthony basket. Here's Granger, his three no good, and it's rebounded by Lynn. Now just over five minutes, 39, they'll win the season series. Inside to Chandler and with authority. Well, I get over the hump defensively. And there's usually some things that, that stop you, and, and J.R. Smith making this play would be one of them. And Dick Granger trying to cut off Camelo Anthony and didn't quite get there. And even though the green, the Knicks also wearing their New York green tonight. They had the St. Patty's Day parade in New York City. Stoudemire to the basket, lays it in. They've hit the century mark and more than Step back three in the corner by Hill. Just has not had a lot of legs tonight, George Hill. No, none of the Pacers have really had a, a lot of legs. That's been part of the reason. On their way to a second straight loss and a disappointing loss to Carmelo Anthony. And finds a renewed energy. Now, they had played well, though, against the Bulls. They, yeah, they, they really had started to figure some things out. Carmelo Anthony just throws a shot up there and gets it to go down. They have too many lows. you got the next game, and you just figure out how to go get it. And the New York Knicks win both games on a Friday and a Saturday night, and both by double figures, by 15 last night, and by 14 tonight at Bankers Life Fieldhouse.